Hey guys, uh, good morning. Today is uh, Sunday, November 9th. I have here the uh, Sony Xperia Z3. This is a new waterproof phone with Verizon Wireless. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw my unboxing yesterday. I posted a couple of videos, uh, one in English and one in Spanish, doing my uh, first impressions and unboxing of this uh, phone. And um, I actually use a picture uh, for my uh, thumbnail on YouTube with the phone inside of a glass of water. The reason of this video, guys, uh, is to let you know that this phone failed the waterproof test. And uh, short after I uploaded those videos, the phone stopped working. And the phone got water inside. As you guys can see, I have all the ports uh, open right now. Uh, there is water inside of the camera, the rear camera. There is uh, water inside of the front-facing camera. Uh, all the ports were properly sealed. I have tested uh, several waterproof devices in the past. I have posted videos on my channel about testing waterproof devices. Never had an issue with them before. As a matter of fact, I tested the uh, Sony Xperia uh, Z tablet, 10 inches. Super thin, super beautiful uh, tablet. Uh, I put that tablet in the sink in my kitchen, probably with uh, four or five inches of water. All the ports were sealed, didn't have any issue at all. I contacted Verizon Wireless and talked to customer service. They couldn't really say much. Uh, usually, you know, if uh, there is a water damage, <clears throat> there is not much uh, troubleshooting to do other than just uh, go ahead and replace the phone. But I was still very curious to hear what Sony had to say because, you know, it's this phone is certified IP68. Uh, it can go 1.5 meter underwater for up to 30 minutes as long as all the ports are closed which is something I also mentioned it during my unboxing uh, it's waterproof as long as the ports are closed and it's hard for me to believe that just putting the phone in a glass of water the water was just uh, up to like right here even the 3.5 millimeter audio jack was not under water and like I said you know I got water inside of a camera Inside of both cameras, I can. There is water there. When I opened the ports because the phone turned off and didn't turn back on, I got water coming out of the ports. So let me show you guys now a closer look here at the camera and the ports. But the main reason of this video, guys, uh, it's to advise you to uh, give you my impressions, my experience uh, with this phone and the whole waterproof situation. You know, if you're a fan of uh, Sony and you were considering getting this phone, uh, I will think about it twice. I will do more investigation and uh, check with Verizon or Sony. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's on mal malfunctioning with the uh, seals or the doors uh, mechanism. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what's going on, but you know, it's it's uh, unacceptable that uh, just putting the phone um, inside of a glass of water, this happened. So let me show you now a, a closer look of the so before uh, camera. Before we take a look at the camera, guys, I wanna show you the back of the, the box right here. Take a look if you can. Um, I think it's at the, the third line, the third line. If I can move my finger, cause I'm holding the camera right there it says can be kept under 1.50 meters of fresh water for up to 30 minutes in compliance with IP68 so that's the information we see on the box now let me show you here how the camera looks like take a look at the camera 
there is water inside of the camera there is water inside of the the flash uh, if we look at the front facing camera there is also water inside and uh, when i opened the ports yesterday there were there was water several drops of water coming out of uh, each of the ports and uh, you know if i try to close this port right now i mean they appear to close properly it feels like they are sealed like nothing should go inside um, you know that's how the phone should look like when all the ports are closed you can see from the side everything looks flush even Here's uh, the other side. And I'm gonna include some pictures at the end of this video uh, of uh, the glass of water that I use for this uh, test. And unfortunately, water still go went inside of the, uh, of the phone. Right, guys and these are a couple of pictures uh, like I mentioned I use this picture for my uh, thumbnail on uh, YouTube and as you guys can see the phone was inside of the water uh, the ports were sealed I don't know if you can tell on this picture the screen it's on the next picture it's uh, more clear that the screen was on so uh, apparently after a few seconds in the water stopped working but it was working with the screen on during the, the guys uh, here's a quick demonstration with the kyocera brigadier when i did my waterproof uh, test kyocera brigadier and this is a new waterproof phone with verizon wireless uh, if you work doing construction you work doing physical jobs uh, you work around the water this is probably the phone that you want so let's go ahead and start with the full review of the Kyocera Brigadier, the new waterproof phone with Verizon Wireless. Here's another demonstration, guys, uh, when I was doing my waterproof test with the Sony Xperia tablet. All right, guys, uh, that's all I have for right now. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more videos. Share the video to help others. Look at the tablet. She's in the water. So uh, I highly recommend the tablet, guys. Uh, I believe it's a $499 uh, with Verizon Wireless. You get the 4G connectivity. Uh, waterproof I mean what else do you want uh, quad core 2.3 gigahertz uh, 3 gig of RAM amazing performance so guys I will see you on the uh, alright guys uh, thanks for watching the video subscribe for more again uh, this is just to let you guys know what happened with the Sony Xperia waterproof phone and uh, just trying to give you here my uh, opinions and then trying to help you if you're considering this phone uh, think about it twice, uh, check with Verizon, check with Sony, see what's going on. Um, I'm going to be sending this back to Verizon and they're probably going to send this back to Sony. According to what Sony told me, uh, they, will they will receive the phone from you and it might take uh, up to two weeks. Uh, they will do some computer testing, that's what they said, computer testing to determine if water goes inside of the phone after the ports uh, are closed uh, if it doesn't pass the test they will replace the phone for free if it doesn't pass if it pass the test they might say that it was uh, a mistake for me i can tell you right now and i've been doing this for good four or five years and i like i mentioned it i tested all their waterproof devices i never had an issue before so we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. But uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching again. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.